Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn about atomic structure and subatomic particles. So let's jump right in here and start talking about the atom. It says right here that virtually 100% of the atom's mass is located inside the nucleus and only a tiny fraction of the total volume of an atom uh, is located in it. So if we take a look at this little picture here of this atom here, we can tell first of all that this is a lithium atom because there are one, two, three protons, and it's the protons, or the number of protons that are in this nucleus right here that determine the, uh, the element or atom that it is. So if we take a look at this nucleus here, we can see that there's two subatomic particles packed tightly within it. We've got protons and we've got neutrons, right? So at the center of every atom is a very small, extremely dense uh, particle or uh, object called the nucleus all right and the thing about the nucleus is this if this atom right here were the size of say your classroom then the nucleus which is at the center would only be about a speck of dust or a grain of sand and that's because the nucleus of every atom is the smallest most dense part of the atom all right so even though it's super small and super dense it contains virtually 100 percent of the atom's mass and if we take a look outside of the nucleus we're going to have this area here called the electron cloud and in this electron cloud we're going to have these things right here called electrons electrons are the smallest subatomic particle with a negative charge so small compared to protons and neutrons we say they have a mass of zero amus atomic mass units and we'll talk about that here in a second so outside of the nucleus we have a bunch of negative particles called electrons inside the nucleus we have a bunch of protons which are positively charged subatomic particles that have a mass of one amu and we also have the neutron right here right neutrons are another subatomic particle that have no mass at all or i'm sorry uh, no charge at all they're their, their charge is neutral. However, they do have a mass of 1 AMU. All right, so let's think about this real quick. If I have a bunch of positive protons and neutral neutrons in the nucleus, then the charge of this nucleus is going to be positive. And then if we take a look on the outside, we got a bunch of ele electrons in the electron cloud, which are negative. So we have a bunch of negative particles in the electron cloud and the total charge of the nucleus is positive. And if we take a look even closer we'll notice that there's one two three negative electrons in the outside or in the uh, outside the nucleus or in the electron sh uh, electron cloud and in the nucleus if we take a look there are one two three protons which are positive so we have a total charge of say plus three in the middle or in the nucleus and we have a total charge of minus three outside the nucleus giving the total charge of a stable atom being completely neutral so understand that concept that inside the nucleus it's positive outside the nucleus it's negative and because you have the same number of electrons as you do protons same number of negative particles as you do positive particles then the total charge of the atom is going to be neutral all right so this is uh this is a, a basic model of what the atom might look like so let's take a look closer now at subatomic particles all right, so what we're looking at right here is just a, a, a table showing you the different subatomic particles and their location, their masses, their charge, and their symbols. So what I recommend you do when you're studying and preparing for a test or quiz is to just go ahead and pause this and take a look at this. Take a few moments to review what's going on here. For example, the proton is located inside the nucleus. It has a mass of 1 AMU. It has a positive charge. And the symbol for a proton is oftentimes written like you see right here. All right, the neutron is also located in the nucleus. It has a mass of 1 AMU. It has a neutral charge, and it's typically written like this. When you uh, see a symbol written like this, that's indicative of, uh, of a neutron. And then you have electrons. Electrons are located in the electron cloud. These guys are so small compared to protons and neutrons, we say they have no mass at all. Though some would say that an electron has a very nice mass. Anyway, moving forward, here we go. Uh, the charge of an electron is negative, and the symbol is right here. So what is an AMU? Well, an AMU is a measurement of mass, and uh, AMU stands for atomic mass unit. And one atomic mass unit is equal to one twelfth the mass of a carbon-12 atom. So all the masses that you see, all the uh, atomic masses that you see on the periodic table, 
are actually based off of this right here, the carbon-12 atom. The entire periodic table is essentially based off of the carbon-12 atom, all those masses, that is. All right, so one AMU, or atomic mass unit, is one-twelfth the mass of a carbon-12 atom, which is equal to 1.67377 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. So an atomic mass unit is super small. It's hardly any mass at all. It's very small. And an electron has such a small mass compared to these guys, protons and neutrons, that we say they have no mass at all. All right, so once again, since the nucleus contains protons and neutrons, and protons are positive and neutrons are neutral, then the total charge of the nucleus is positive. And since the electron cloud contains electrons, then the total charge outside of the nucleus or in the electron cloud is negative. And since atoms have the same number of protons or positive particles in the nucleus as electrons or negative particles in the electron cloud, then atoms overall are going to have a neutral charge, a neutral charge. And so once these atoms start to lose or gain electrons, then they turn into what we call ions. But that's going to be a totally different video. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click the little bomb in the bottom right hand corner. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the, uh, the comment section down below. And I hope you found this helpful.